Hello, it's Scott the Urban Beekeeper. Today we're going to talk about wax melters. I've seen uh, solar wax melters and designs for them and uh, plans on how to build them that are can be quite involved. Really nice looking things made out of wood. Uh, I thought I'd go try something different. I have here a styrofoam cooler. It's a pretty heavy duty one. I think it cost me $14. Uh, a piece of glass that I had sitting around the house. Uh, as you can see in there, I have like a little Tupperware dish with a strainer. On top of that, you see all of my uh, uncapping it's from uh, extracting honey. Down here, I have a thermometer. It's uh, it's over 180 degrees in there, and you can see, I hope, through here that it's uh, melting the wax no problem and when I say the cappings right this is my uncapping tub I take the frames with honey in them take them in here and use a knife to uncap the top of them and all these little cappings are just wax so I took these cappings put them in that metal strainer and now it's filtering through the strainer and coming out with a nice clear wax on the other side. In case you're wondering how that worked out. Oh, wait, one point. Don't use a plastic strainer. It gets too hot in there. Uh, this is how it worked out. This is the wax. And I'm going to pull it out here. I haven't done this yet. I wish... I wonder what I can do here. I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm going to pull out the wax. And you can see that it's attached to all that honey. Um, they tell me that the honey is more for now cooking than uh, eating just because it's a thicker honey. And whatever. It looks good to me. It tastes good too. There you go. Solar wax melter. Scott the Urban Beekeeper. Thanks.